Welcome to BMGI LLC. This is the Black Moon Butterfly Effect. I am Black Moon Dwan, your spiritual advisor. I will be doing the week ahead for March 25th through the 30th for my Earth signs, my Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos. Um, on the pre shuffle, I did get the root chakra, so we'll get into it as soon as we do the prayer. All praises be to the Most High God. Thank you for touching me this morning, giving me this part of the day. Let me live the rest of this day and many more. I actually did thank, I thank you for my gifts, my talents, and my insights. Give me an insight for my earth signs, my Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgos for this week of March 25th to the 30th. For the grace and highest good, the grace and highest sustenance, grace and highest transformation and evolution. I thank you so much for, for your love, your guidance, and your support. I thank you so much for your protection, your wisdom, your mercy. Please me, give me a message that is clear and concise that I can understand and that those that need to hear it can understand. All those that are need that need to hear this message, may they be drawn to this broadcast so they can get the spiritual nourishment that they need. That's shame. Okay, so my earth signs, my Taurus, my Capricorns, my Virgos. You guys got the root chakra. Okay. The root chakra is um the base of support. It is, is located at the base of the spine. The sound is alum. The color is red. It is a four petal lotus flower. It supports the legs and feet, um, eliminations, and uh, adrenal glands. It is the earth element, and the qual qualities are grounding, stability, security, and support. So when I got the card, right, um, I instantly thought, you know, all hands on deck, right? Um, there are four supporting mudras here with one in the middle. I feel like you are being supported at this time um, to come into your own. I feel like you need to ground yourselves um, in order to get the stability, the stability, security, and support that you're looking for. Um, I kind of feel like my earth signs are kind of a little um, frazzled right you're a little all over the place um you're not getting enough sleep you're not eating properly you're not taking proper care of yourself um in doing so you this is why you need to ground yourself this week um i feel like um the grounding for this week is coming at the um at the precipice of a great change that is coming okay for the most part um my taurus capricorns and virgos you guys are earth elements so that's why this card is re really resonates for me with you guys um i'm also feeling like there are some um i heard solar flare so okay so here's the thing when solar flares happen right those those are um bursts of energy um and uh electromagnetic fields that are um that burst off of the sun and they come the, the, those um, energies and frequencies and things, they hit the earth, right? So they can um, mess up communications like your computers, um, your internet. Um, it can um, affect, you know, the way we feel as human beings. Like we can feel extra heavy or extra light or just feel like we're being bombarded with a lot of energy. And when you're being bombarded with a lot of energy, a lot of thoughts, a lot of um, things that you have to do, you need to find that time to ground yourself, to separate yourself from the everyday monotony that goes through um, the things that you have to do, the to-do list that you run through your head constantly all day, every day. My Tauruses, you guys are very goal-oriented. You guys are master manifestors. So therefore, you are always looking for a way to manifest um security in your in your material world right you're looking to manifest those things in your physical world that are going to bring you i don't know peace and happiness right but i also feel like with um my tauruses you guys are mad stubborn you know you guys are mad stubborn and being stubborn you need to ground yourself why are you so stubborn 
why are you so fixated on this one idea or this one way of doing things okay my capricorns you guys are the workhorses of the cap of the zodiac you guys work hard you play hard and you don't take no shit okay so with this is telling me that you're doing too much for everyone else and not enough for yourself my capricorns you guys need to take that time in to do self-care self-love you know um not be so much in the hustle and bustle you know all work and no play makes you a very very dull boy or girl right so you need to have make time for fun make time for you know um creative activities things that put you in the flow and not not necessarily goal oriented but creativity oriented something that's going to liven up your spirit lighten your soul give you um a break so to speak you know what i'm saying so you're not always so goal oriented driven um it's good to have goals it's good to set parameters it's good to have all of these things but it's also good to let go sometimes sometimes you need to let go and come to a place of stillness i think that's what this grounding is for you guys my virgos you guys are just doing the most my virgos you guys your minds are like just I see the gears just turning, 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 turning. Even when you're trying to sleep, your mind is going, 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 going. You need to learn how to turn off the clock. Turn off the clock. My Virgos, you guys are very, very analytical. So you analyze everything. This is why your brain is always going, always going, always going. You need to calm down, take that time to relax, to separate yourself, to ground yourself, to find your center, okay? So, for my earth signs, we're going to get into it for this week. Most high God, my angels, my ancestors, my guides, my teachers, my orishas, my celestials, my terrestrials, my galactic beings. I'm asking for you to communicate with me today in, res in respect to the earth signs my Taurus, my Capricorns, my Virgos for the week of March 25th through March 30th, March 25th through March 30th. Monday, please. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, one more for Saturday please. You guys, excuse me if it's mad foggy in here. I had tried to do the recording before and like my smoke alarm went off. Burning sage and the frankincense. Oh my gosh, like it was crazy in here. Like I had to, I have to open my front door, my back door, turn on all the fans. Like it's crazy. That fell on the floor. I'm not taking it. And why are my cards not correct? Something's up. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No more smoke. No more smoke. No more. Thank you. The, it started going haywire during the the other the previous reading for my um for the fire signs. It just went flame on, and it's been. <sighs> Anyways, Saturday. Thank you. All my stuff is like just falling. All right, let's see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wow. So you guys got the judgment card for Monday too, which the fire signs also got. For you guys, I'm feeling like um, 
it's more so of a um the energy of renewal right you need to take that time to relax you need to take that time to pause you need to take that time to sleep to eat properly to treat care of yourself and this is a renewed type of um contract with yourself like okay i'm gonna be um, impeccable with myself, right? I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to eat properly. I'm going to rest properly. My earth signs, you guys are doing the most. I'm trying to tell you. You need to relax. Ground yourself. Found your, find your center. Make time for something that you want to do, okay? That doesn't necessarily have to do with anyone else or anything else. Just something that brings you joy. That lightens up your spirit. That lightens up your mood, right? So, Monday, I feel like you guys are going to be going through the motions, okay? Um, I feel like there's going to be a cycle of emotions that you're going to go through. Um, you're going to feel guilt. You're going to feel, um, you're going to feel sorrow. You're going to feel a little bit depressed. You're going to feel, um, you're going to feel joy at the same time. You're going to go through a gambit of emotions tomorrow. But this is all necessary for you to get to the root of the problem, right? Why are you so focused on everyone else and everything else and, and putting yourself on the back burner? You have to take care of yourself in order to take care of everyone else, okay? So come Tuesday, we have the full card. The full card is the first card of the deck, which is also telling you to take a leap of faith, right? Take a leap of faith on the things that you feel that you have been putting on the back burner for yourself. If you feel like you haven't been getting enough sleep, get some sleep. If you feel like you've been putting your your business or your 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 dreams and your goals on the back burner pick some of them things back up off the back burner you know reevaluate the situation see where you are now see what you can contribute to it now okay um tuesday is going to be one of those days where you're going to kind of feel like you're on this edge you're on the edge you're like mm, what do i want to do how do i want to do it how do I want to proceed? Because remember, the day before, you went through the emotions, right? You went through the whole cycle of feeling guilty, feeling happy, going um, people-pleasing, being a little bit selfish, setting boundaries. What does those boundaries mean? How does that look? You know, what will it mean for those other people that are involved? Things like that. Um, so come Tuesday, you're going to be in that energy of, again, we have the, the moon phases. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's moon phases on there, okay? This, and also my fire signs also got three cards with the moon phases. So this is telling me that it's going to take some time, okay? However, they are, again, just like my fire signs, they are all major arcana. So being that they are major arcana, this means these are major spiritual internal life changes that are going to take place for you that you need to pay attention to, okay? Now, this is going to also usher in a new beginning for you. So I feel like my earth signs, my Taurus, my Capricorns, my um, Virgos, you're going to be stepping into a new place where... Um, Come Wednesday with the Eight of Coins, which is the Eight of Pentacles, this is all about perfecting a skill. This is all about um, going back over things that you've done before and adding new things into it, right? So say, for instance, you were a fashion designer, right? And you're designing this new outfit, this new fashion, whatever the case may be this dress, this pantsuit, whatever the case may be, right? So you start out drawing it, you, you get your little sketch pad out, you start sketching it out, right? You start sketching it out, you put in, you know, the embellishments, the details that you like. You put that on the back burner because something else comes to mind or you get distracted or whatever, what have you. You go off on a tangent on something else. Now they're telling you to pick that project back up, pick that sketchbook back up, pick up what it is that you put down in order to service others right because you can't service others if you don't service yourself make sure that you are honoring your own goals right because if you look at this eight of um this eight of coins here i'm going to show you guys i'm double broadcasting don't judge me my um she's sitting at a table with a mirror with some candles she has 
she has things on the table that she's working on. Many of them. Eight of them to be exact. For me, eight is also about the collapsing of timelines. So timelines are collapsing, right? You're understanding that this life that we live is just a dream, right? There's the dream of the planet and there's our own individual dream. What narrative are you living? What story are you telling? Um, is it a true story? Is it a fiction? Is it a biography? Is it a bibliography? Are you telling your true life story or are you telling something that is fiction? Are you paraphrasing your life? You know what I mean? And is that really any good for you? Pick up what you put down. There's something that you put down, something that you put on the back burner that um, spirit wants you to um, wants you to delve deep into. Okay, this is why you need to ground yourself. This is why you need to find stability. This is why you need to find security and support. And that support can come in many a ways. It can come in a financial way. It can come in a um, spiritual way. It can come in an emotional way. It can come in an intellectual way. It can come in a way that where someone is showing you something that you didn't know before. And now that you can now that you can quantify it and understand it, maybe this concept came to you before and you just couldn't wrap your mind around it. Why? Because you weren't grounded. Now is the time for you to be grounded. Now is the time for you to stay rooted in the things that make you happy, the things that bring you joy, the things that take you outside of your everyday routine. Okay? You need to develop a routine of self-care, of self-love, of um, self-acceptance. Okay? Come Thursday, we're coming into this energy of the tower card. Now, the tower means, for me, when I get a tower card, that means the things are going to be happening within that week. With, and from that day, from between one and five days, okay? That's how the tower card usually happens for me. So there's something that's going to be happening that's going to change the way that you move, like, dramatically, there's going to be some type of epiphany, some type of something that is going to happen for you. I feel like it's more so you coming into this thing where you're like, yo, I I do deserve to do more for myself. I do have to set out time for the things that make my my heart smile, my my spirit rejoice, you know? There is a plan in motion. There it does take time to to peel back all of these layers of the people pleasing of the of the oh well if i do this for myself then i can't do this for someone else type thing okay when you put yourself in the position of um putting everyone else in front of yourself you put you run the risk of burnout overwhelming yourself being um just lethargic and things like that you want things that are going to celebrate you and your spirit even if it is helping someone else is it, are, you, are you helping someone at the detriment of yourself be um aware of the things that you have going on for others of you this is specifically for my virgos i feel i'm kind of feeling like my virgos are having a tough time with staying in their head right you're just you're just ruminating over things over and over and over in your mind. And I hate to say this, but it's things that are not helpful. You're not thinking about things that are helping you get out of your situation. You're thinking about things that are keeping you stagnant and stuck. You have to have a positive outlook. You have to think about um, solutions rather than excuses or problems. There's always a, a choice to be made. Okay, you choose to wallow in sorrow and darkness or you choose to get up and do something about it. Okay, um, come Thursday, um, we got the Father of Wands, which is the King of Wands, which is that charisma. You get your spark back, you get your mojo back, you get that, you get your juju back. You know what I mean? Come Thursday, you're feeling charismatic you know what i'm saying you're putting out that energy that you always had you're feeling like your life force it's like you're it's like i'm seeing a video game right you know in a video game when you have the many lives and you know you have your life meter and you it starts to take off the little dots and then when you get to the last dot you, you, that life is over and then you have to get another life i feel like your your life meter has been recharged okay 
So come Thursday, you're coming into that energy where you're like, yo, I know my worth. I know what I must do. I I feel like me again. And when I say feel like me, I mean not the you that you've been portraying, not the not the facade, the real you, the authentic you. You start to feel your authenticness. Um, you're coming into that energy where you're not taking no shit off of nobody. You're not allowing anyone to come in and destroy your happiness or tell you how you should be. I feel like you're allowing all of those nagging thoughts that have been running around in your head that have not been helpful, like I said, the negative narrative, the negative Nancy narrative that's been running around in your mind. I feel like you're coming to that instance where you're like, no, I am not this person. I am not going to wallow in sorrow. I'm not going to wallow in self-pity. I'm not going to let someone else control my life. I control me. I control my life. I control my destiny. It's like you're standing on your own too. And you're like, look, I got a plan. This man got a plan. He got a plan on his board. You see it? He got a plan on his board. Even though it's going to take time. Again, you guys see the cycle that I'm talking about here. This is all a cycle. It is not going to happen in one day. It's not going to happen in one minute. But by the time you hit Thursday... You're going to understand that something has got to change and quickly. And it will. Okay? That's why by Friday you're going to be in your energy like, yeah, baby, I'm feeling it. You're feeling yourself. And it's, it's a good energy. You're feeling strong. You're feeling wise. You're feeling supported. You're feeling stable. You're feeling like you have... You have everything that you need to move forward in a positive direction. You're not being stopped by um, fear. You're not being stopped by the things that you need to do for other things. But you understand that you are part of a collective. And if you are no good, then you can be no good for anyone else. So you're standing in that energy where you're like, okay, I know what I must do, right? Right? Find your center. Ground yourself this week, my earth signs, my Taurus, my Capricorns, my Virgos. It is well-deserved and it is well-needed, okay? Be sure that you are on your... Make sure that you're holding yourself accountable. If you say that I'm going to make time for myself or I'm going to set aside a certain amount of time for myself every day, hold yourself accountable. Even if it's 10 minutes to meditate and to clear your mind of whatever is going on in the moment. Even if you have to do that several times a day, you take you a 10 minute several times a day out of your day to separate yourself from what you got going on and make that time for yourself. It's a necessity. Okay, come Saturday, we got the Daughter of Knives. The Daughter of Knives is um, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is messages being delivered to you, things coming to your way, things that are going to help you stand strong in your convictions. Okay, I feel like there are going to be messages that are going to illuminate you and enlighten you as to the path that you're on. I also feel like these messages are messages of um, vigilance, the things that you need to do to stay determined and to stay on your goals and not to be deterred. Okay, when I say deterred, I mean, you know how you start a project, you might say, okay, I'm going to do this 10 minutes a day that Black Moon told me about. I know that life gets kind of crazy and I get kind of overwhelmed and I get kind of frazzled out here. So I'm going to listen to Black Moon. I'm going to take these 10 minutes a day when I start to feel myself getting, you know, a little crazy and overwhelmed and things just aren't going right. I'm going to take these 10 minutes. You might do it for the first day, right? You might have to do it three times a day. You might have to take 10 minutes three times. And now one day that you decided to stand on this um, on this conviction, right? You're going to take these 10 minutes to relieve yourself of the stress so you don't become overwhelmed and overburdened, right? You do this for the first day. You do it for the second day. You do it for the third day. But come the fourth day, you're like, oh, it's just too much. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is where that where you need to stand on your convictions. Honor yourself and honor the things that you said that you were going to do for yourself. Because let me tell you something. If you tell yourself that you're going to do yourself a favor, you're going to do your, you promise yourself something for your own greatest and highest good and you don't do it. 
Guess what happens? The universe is going to be like, oh, they don't believe what they're saying either. So why should I believe what they're saying? That's not what they really want. They don't know what they really want. Even when it's hard. Even when you don't think that you have the time, the strength, or the power to do it, do it anyway. The Most High will give you that divine energy to push you. You need that. Okay? And ground yourself, my earth signs. Ground yourselves. You are earth signs. Tap into earth. Go outside. Walk barefooted. Hug a tree. You know, connect, commune with nature. This is, this is like the earth is your, is like your, um, your generator. It gives you power. Use it. Understand that you are here to make a difference, not to be a pawn. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull a spirit junkie card for the last message for my earth signs and we are up out of here my guys i hope that this um, message really um resonated with you guys i hope that um you guys get something that is for your greatest and highest good and your enlightenment if this resonates with you please make sure to like share and subscribe with those that could also benefit from this message Okay, personal readings are available. I am me, DM me, or go to my paper bell page um, to book your readings. The last message for my earth signs, my Taurus, my Capricorns, my Virgos. It says, I seek out happy people who inspire me to be great. This is what I'm telling you. You need to seek out people, places, things, activities, ideologies, theologies disciplines things that make your heart sing things that bring you that inspire you to greatness my earth signs you guys got something great coming to you this week and you need to be centered in order to receive it wholeheartedly okay i love you guys thank you for joining me thank you for your love and your support for this week ahead for my earth signs march 25th to march 30th as above, so below. As within, so without. Be kind to yourself and others. I love you. Have a great week, guys.